Hey guys, I'm filming this at the end of this entire video because I don't know if I did an intro. I'm Allie from Allie's Best and if you like home decor, organizing, mommy videos, and decorating, this is the place for you. So make sure you like this video and hit subscribe. Today I am in my finished sunroom, but you are going to start in the unfinished, unpainted sunroom. And yeah, so let's get into it. Today we're fixing the sunroom. Okay, so here's our sunroom on this side. We have like a little coat hook, a place to put shoes. Sometimes I'll de decorate this. This is literally from last summer, from one of my baby showers. And then we have this area. Usually there are some chairs and a little tea cart here, but we really don't use it for much. Um, it's like a light mint green with a mint trim which is what the whole outside of the house is painted and I got some paint samples to see if I like anything else better. So my initial instinct is that they are way too orange. It's like very almost like a school bus -y yellow bright orange so I don't know if that's going to stay. Then I decided it would be a good idea to paint the walls just a bright, crisp white, which is what we did on the inside. So we actually used our interior paint left over from when we moved in and started painting the outside of the house. Okay, I realize now that the paint also looks super green in this lighting, but it is just pure bare white, no mix-ins, and we're going to start painting. Let's see where I can leave you safely. I think this is the only place I can leave you safely is right where you just were. Well, one, the lighting makes it hard to tell if anything's happening. Well, I was just I was trying to find. Um, our paint is way too thick and old and we cannot use it. So this project is put on the waiting list again. Ah. Okay guys, it's another day and I'm in the sunroom and I am actually going to take a caulking gun and like caulk all of the like seams between the floor and this wood. This is really like an indoor outdoor room so um, it wasn't sealed closed barely at all and we're trying to make it more indoor than it is outdoor, which means we need to close up some of these themes a little bit. This feels a little bit like that saying, putting, a, putting lipstick on a pig. So here are our test swatches again for the Order. This one is not very different. Um, so what we decided to do, let me back up, is we're going to paint this whole back wall white and the trim white just for now. And then after we paint this whole back wall, I think we'll let it dry for tonight. And then we'll move all the stuff against this wall so that we can paint that back wall where Pat is, all of these We'll paint white for now. This whole thing, we'll move all the plants and stuff. We need to get some like spray foam for up there. Okay, so we are in, back in the sunroom, constantly in the sunroom. Um, and I had decided I wanted to paint it the bright, plain white color that we had. And like in the direct sun, it literally reflects so much light that it's hard to like have your eyes open. So I'm going to show you. Here's the like bright white color. It's like, ugh, it looks so good on camera, but it literally hurts your eyes in person. Ugh but it looks so good on camera. Anyway, so we went and got new colors and this is like a creamy gray 
and then this like light yellow and this light yellow color I picked out is basically the same color it was painted before. Um, so we're gonna paint it this light gray. The white looks so good on camera though, but we have to live here, right? So we're gonna go with that creamy gray. All right, here is our painting in the morning. You can see up there like the three different colors this place has been. The dark, the darker color being the one we're settled on. You can see it over here too with the white. We just gave up a little bit early yesterday, but I think it's gonna look nice. I'm excited. And I painted down there, but we painted in the dark. And so like we really couldn't tell what was going on um so there's definitely plenty more to do down there but yeah i think it's gonna look nice painting is my least favorite part of a room project oh i hear our cat where is it oh um yeah painting is my least favorite part so hopefully today will be the last day you think I hope. <laughs> we are taking finishing up this room sort of slowly. And <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to do is spray foam um, some of like the bigger holes or like gaps in things in this indoor outdoor room. And yeah, I've never spray foamed before. Here it is. Pat said, do not get it on your clothes or your skin. But I don't want to read the directions. So we'll see what happens. Okay, it's not the best, especially over there, but I tried. <laughs> okay guys, there have been some pieces of progress made on the sunroom that I want to tell you about before we move on to the next thing. So the first thing is... Um, we found the paint for the trim. Hopefully you've seen before, I decided that we'd paint everything white, including the trim. Then I realized I did not like that idea. So we had to repaint the walls and then we had to find if the previous owners left this trim paint. And they had left it, but had gone bad. So we had to get it color matched to a color Pat lovingly called baby poop green. And um, he, as like a little pre-Mother's Day gift, painted over most of my mistakes. So that room is starting to be almost finished for paint. We just have a couple more little touch-ups to do. And then the other thing, and I'll show you this in a second, Pat installed this, well, I'll have to go show it to you right now. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a plug in the light switch. So we are gonna plug in some cafe lights to light it up here at nighttime, which will help us paint and also will be cute for the room. These are literally the cafe lights we used at our wedding. We have so many. We have them strung up all around the house. We have them strung up in the backyard. So these are like still things that we just haven't unpacked from the wedding. I don't know if you could see what we were doing last night. I mean, I know you couldn't see up this close. So we had these curtain rods, or these curtain rod hooks, I guess you would call them, still on the wall. And we just looped the string of lights through it and then zip tied them on. And of course we're gonna cut the zip ties short. And then on this side where Pat is, we screwed in some hooks to hold up the lights. And this one's really tight, so we don't think it needs a zip tie, but the other one, the end has a zip tie holding it closed. Pat was a deer and trimmed up all the excess spray foam, swept it up, and then I went in and started to finish painting all of the trim, just giving it a nice refresh. And then it's time to decorate.
All right, guys. Well, no room in a house is ever finished, finished, I don't think, because you live in it and you change it. This room is done being painted, which means you can bring in all the furniture. But first, I want to show you what it looks like. It doesn't look like much now, but I have really high hopes. So here's the new wall color. It used to be yellow, and now it's like a grayish. And then we got the new, the old trim color. We just like color matched it and we repainted a bit. We left the floor like this because I want it to be like an art project floor. So we're just gonna let it be the way it is. And then we hung some lights in here. And then behind me, here's the front door to the house. Behind me, there's this little space too and a window into the house. to there's still a few things to do like more decorating to do and stuff like that but we have a wonderful new hangout room in our house that's more functional and just ready to grow with us and our family if you guys like room decorating videos mommy videos Jewish life videos make sure to give this video a like and make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys later bye